She is the purest of us all. I'm not that pure. There's been this very long, you know, standing feud between vampires and lichens. And in this movie, you know, Celine's very much disenfranchised from both. She's not really part of the team of vampires anymore. I'm finished with this war. Well, it's not finished with you. My fellow council members tell me that she has the necessary skills to deal with the lichens. I think we're ready enough. We would rip them to shreds before they got anywhere close to the mansion. There are those who are less confident, I suppose. There's never been a large-scale lichen attack. Because of what's happening amongst the lichens, they're organizing themselves into a much more formidable force than they have been. It's some sort of bullet. It's burrowing through you faster than you can hear. These lichens are sophisticated. Now there is a new war, and there's a new bad guy, and his name is Marius. And Marius is a powerful and enigmatic leader, and he wants to um, take Celine down specifically for the power of her blood. And when we have the blood of Celine and her daughter, we will be invincible. Increasingly through the legend of Underworld, this uh, idea of the hybrid, of sort of the mixing of bloods, the mixture of, of lichen and vampire, that is explored further in this film. I really do like the fact that there's all these new different characters and there's such a transformation going on for Celine in this movie and, and the stakes are very, very high.